Hello, 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 hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it's time to continue with Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened. Now, we just got done in uh, New Orleans, uh, in, uh, Edel, in Black Edelweiss. And our clues led us... Okay. There we go. So we are in New Orleans. Okay. Looks a lot better than it did in the original, I'll tell you that. And we aren't sort of slammed with uh, a. Qu uh, uh, a little, little, little. So we got off the boat. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Can't wolf. Can I get through somewhere? No. Great. This is what I get for trying. <laughs> So I'm obviously far away from where I started, aren't I? Well, how do I get back to the boat? New Orleans Union Station. Harbor Master's office. Okay. Is this the Harbor Master's office here? Okay, so that's... An auction poster behind a dog. You know what I think happened? Because I... Okay. So... This is where we started. I think this is where we came off. Nympha, Louisiana, maybe not. Uh. Oh, no, this is where we started, yeah. There's John, okay. So. We go right. Follow a wall. Ah, there it is. 
black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E.W. Gray. Okay. Doggo. Okay. Okay, so now that we know... Excuse me, just one question. Always glad to help. The bank can be found on the street up from the port on the left side of the Harbor Master's building opposite Chinatown. go this way New Orleans de police department hmm, I respect that me I'm past it may I ask for your assistance I don't wish to be rude but I don't have a clue about this okay fine enough uh I think that's period specific, uh, appropriate, period appropriate. Ah! Banking house of E.W. Gray. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Okay. Squints. Myopia. Hidden tabloid newspaper. Abe Lincoln alive. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see that. What we got here? What's this? Something in his pocket? A sandwich? matter what I say. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Hmm. 
Okay. So, oh, there's one. Over here. Yes. All right. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bold and tired, but yes, I'll help you. Locals say that he owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Hmm. Well, you know, here's an entrance to Chinatown. We gotta find it. You know, a marvelous home, a city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Yeah. Chinatown. Assuming for a jewelry store. Yeah. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Oh. Interesting. May I ask you something? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. He is a known alcoholic as being currently getting drunk at a local bar called the Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. He can be recognized by a yellow hat and a green jacket. Mm, so we gotta find this place now. Giddy Gator Bar. Well, you know. Giddy Gator Bar. This place is a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Hmm. Nice. Can I go past it or something? No, no. Or did I supposed to go in? No. Okay. So, oh, Giddy Gator Bar, Creole Quarter. Well, Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. 
Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in the closed auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear your wear, wear, wear the cleanest suit and you have a, you have and be sober. One more unacceptable incident and we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Hmm. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Interesting. Where's my cash, Frank? In the bartender's tip jar? That works. Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here, so as not to arouse suspicion. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are, shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. For the bottle. Oh, come on in. Well, that got through. Okay. Hmm. Heavens, I never seen gems so big. I simply must have them. Lapo Opal Original Australia. Interesting. Piece of shared space. To Earth. They're so black, it's like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Mm hmm. This might be useful. I'll make a note. Hmm, banking is thanks to his fun. Okay. Yep, new bonus unlocked. 
Sure. Do you know anything about this? You better ask someone else about that. Hmm. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Hmm. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. Fair enough. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you, these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity? Ha! <laughs> What have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Hmm. He's the sheriff. Position, power. Golden Revolver Champion. Prouder Poser. Cares for appearance. Mm -hmm. And his hand is resting on his gun. Oh! Fashionable or hates getting dirty? Ah, uh, his law. He has fairly... Hmm... Hmm. Yep. Yep. I don't like the sheriff. Of course I know you, sheriff. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Mm. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff... I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud? Impersonation? That's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels round these parts. Feed them to the gators. Hmm. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. Hmm. That man can do a lot more. Hmm. Well, that piece of shit knows more than he's letting on.
All right, before we do that, however, let's get this side ca these side cases done. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Hmm. Ugh, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I do not want to quote miss out on anything. So you better cooperate with me, game. What? Okay, well, where's the damn clothing? Hmm? Oh, bollocks, now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Mm. It's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. The way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barterby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Oh, mm. Go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. <laughs> okay. So we gotta go to the nymph. Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Welcome home. So we have to go to... great. Rooms available. Oh, uh, great. Now I gotta find... Oh, boy. Room six. There we go. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Mm hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can then do some other stuff. Ah, great. Is there something here? No. 
Well, we look less like, uh... Ah, oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve out. Did you get bored halfway through? Okay. Well, now that we got that done, and before we answer any questions, let's, uh... So we gotta find a wanted poster, and there's one. Sun Tao, last seen. Hmm. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. More people missing here, too. Hmm. All right. Oh, and here we are. The Impaler. Hmm. Interesting. Matucci. Look, Watson. What have we here? A local crime star. A star? You have a strange way with words. Frankly, we have more pressing matters. I'm not going after these troublemakers. But the posters will add nicely to my collection of criminal profiles. Hmm. I read a study that suggests facial features can determine a person's tendency towards cruelty or deviant behavior. Well, you can't stop progress. No, you can't. And I don't trust this belief, man. I have a feeling we're gonna be a we're gonna cause some trouble for him. Oh, I saw some of them. Draken the Grim Reaper. Necromancy kidnapping and attempted mortar. Hmm. Oh, I think I missed one. Mm -mm. Hmm. I gotta. F I want to find these posters. There's one. Donald the Wet Bandit McLeod. Assaulting relatives with a raw chicken. Chinatown again. To make sweet roll adjudicator for stealing twenty oranges and a packet of nuts. Okay. Well, Chinatown is the last one. That's 
about this one? Uh, I remember she. Oh, there it is. Stand Lord Smith for piracy. As much gold as the one as the wanted ways. Oh. Wait. There are more? How many are there? Alright. We're missing out on some stuff here, John, so we gotta find it. all these rails I want these posters giddy gator no I won't want that giddy gator anymore the one I already found. Crap. Let's just double check. Maybe I missed one. Oh, here's one. How, how, that, 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 okay. Nothing here. Hmm. Does this meet up with one of the other images? Yep, that's the one I was missing there. Can't go past this point. down here just in case well we're finding out a lot of crap here aren't we locked no one's here yeah I missed that earlier
Okay, double checking, double checking, double checking, double checking. Hi, kitty. How are you? Okay, we created a kitty. Okay, nothing over here. We'll go through here. Wait, 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 wait. Let's wanna double check here. Okay, nothing here. But here's one. Rafa Zasasu the visit Tax fraud via necromancy. Ten acres of land and a farm. Must look, Watson, because before I finish... Oh, yeah, ow. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to bump you. Kitty Gator Bar. Nothing here. Let's check. Oh, sorry, sir. Hello, here's another one. Ryan Gazebo Kelly for stealing an overcoat, a pair of socks, and a boot. Huh, lifetime supply of beer. Not a good deal. Okay. Here's another one. Jennifer Black Widow Pritchett, baking and selling pies with human meat. Well, there's got to be at least one more, I think. Don't think it's going to be anywhere in here, but we'll have to get it. Oh, well, you know, here it is. Liam Sunshine Clayton for mass poisoning during the Christmas soiree. Six hundred dollars on Congressional Gold Medal. <laughs> this will be enough for my collection. As long as you don't hang those ugly faces up at Baker Street. Okay. Okay, well, we had our interaction with Lucy. Fisherman's Quarter, huh? Mm. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Are you all right, sir? It'll come again. I will. I will die. What happened? The Loa of Death came to me last night. I know it will come again. 
Let's start from the beginning. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Could you describe last night's events for me? Uh, I'm Cole Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, mm. some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I mm. wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist, but then the spell broke and I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider, but it was the lower of death and it ain't finished with me. Hmm. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many and we call them lowers. And Mammon Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Hmm. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Mammon's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry, and my mouth was dry, and, and the light became very bright. That is something. Hmm. Supper leftovers. It's not a simple tea, a herbal concoction, rather. Hmm. Black tea seems not to be very popular here. He dropped a cup here. Some chewing tobacco leaves. Cheap and strong brew. Hmm. This one is almost odorless. Interesting. Look at this. It smells sweet. I will take it just in case. I would love to learn more about these. The hmm. healing properties of some herbs are truly amazing herbs. Yes. And some are extremely dangerous. Cold ground herbs here. I heard that. We have a feathered friend in the case. Poor bird crashed against Cole's house. Damage is recent. A feather. Not black, however. Did you really expect to find the feather of rock here? Too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. I 
instead he was on soup. Prince here. Okay. Am I missing something here? Are you a good fisherman, Cole? I wouldn't say so, sir. Hmm. I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. With William in Shreveport, 1879. Another thing there, I didn't see that before. And Brent crawled. He dropped a cup here. I have everything. One, two. We have a feathered friend in the case. Aha! That makes more sense. Cole 
was having dinner. He was alone. Mm -hmm. The herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. Mm. Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside. He could have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. I must ask you, did you have a drink last night? No, sir, I didn't take a sip. It all happened before I went to bed, and I only drink to fall asleep. That's just how it is lately. Hmm. Your boat is wrecked. What happened? Well, yeah. I stumbled over a cypress root. You'd need some force to cause that damage. Yeah. yeah. And to be really down on your luck. Hmm. Cole, I am sure that you were alone last night. The lowers were not with you. Well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter. Look for a Veve sign, but watch what you say. He has the power of voodoo. Voodoo. I'll be careful. Okay. Well, we know where Smeddy's in at. I suppose I'm going to have to ask someone. Dear Mr. Holmes, I knew that when you heard about voodoo, you would be immediately skeptical. This world is not what it seems. I find it strange that in your journey you are still in disbelief. I am sorry that I won't be there when you come for me. I would love to open your eyes. I presume you wanted to ask me about the recipe you found at Cole's house. Knowing of his tragedy, I told him to brew an infusion of these herbs. The effects of that infusion are solace and mollification. If you don't believe me, read this book. There are the answers you seek. May the spirits be with you, Mr. Holmes. Samedi. Yes, after you find what you are seeking, please return to Tome. Some books can do bad things if they fall into the wrong hands. Smitty's book. Well. Well. I suppose I can do this real quick. Okay, I can't talk with them anymore. May I ask you something? Oh, I've heard talk. Okay. That helps. So let's see now what we have here. Okay, leaves. Okay, leaves and flowers, four to eight inches. Leaf form. Mm, smell, sweet. 
color white. Jimson weed, also known as Devil's Snare, is a potent poisonous plant. In case of poisoning, Jimson weed causes dry ma mouth, speech, and swallowing disorders, dilated pupils, impaired near vision, fear of light, delirium, hallucinations, agitation. Severe poisoning is characterized by loss of orientation and sharp mental arousal. Yellow flowers, pointed leaves. Color, yellow. Tole. Goldenrod, perennial herbaceous plant from the uh, Asteraceae family. Goldenrod has a strong di di diuretic effect. It is used for indigestion, rheumatism, and has a general anti-inflammatory property. Okay. So the green leaves, well, obviously, uh... Smell, smell... Two inches. Okay. Strawberry. Strawberry leaves are an effective remedy to improve appetite and normalize digestive properties. Tea and infusions with the syrup. strawberry leaves have a positive effect on the work of the heart. Help lower, help lower blood pressure. They have a mild and a little bit of an elastic effect. Okay. Now, let's go back to Cole. Because he not needs help. And we are getting actually close to the... Been doing this for about an hour now. And we're getting close to the end of this chap... This, this is going to be a quick chapter. Sir? Cole, where are these herbs from? I bought them from Zora. Her stall is at the market near the port. No. Oh. Okay. Is this familiar to you? I'm bone tired. But yeah, I help you. Oh. Well, nice to add that. Down near the port. Is this familiar to you? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. Thanks, ma'am. That's okay. You weren't rude. I've heard worse. Yeah, I bet Zora will kill her. Did you see Ashley rush there? Fearsome woman. Yeah, I'm afraid for them Chinese and for anyone who messes with her. Uh-oh. Just one question. I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Thank you, man. Oh, 
Yeah. Back to Chinatown, Watson. The things we've been learning these things. The, oh, this. Chinatown. Are these herbs fresh? And you dare call my products substandard? Are you able to help me? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. Excuse you me, are you Zora? I am. What do you want? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have several questions, if you don't mind. I came here because Cole Seabrook mentioned you. Do you know him? Unfortunately, yeah. He's my late husband's brother. Uh-huh. You are selling herbs, is that right? Do you want to buy something? Not really. I wanted to ask if you have the herbs from this list. Goldenrod, Jasmine, Strawberry. These are very common. I do sell them same as any other herb merchant. Have you heard of Jimson weed? A poisonous plant, but it can help ease the pain if you know how to use it. Some believe you can use it to create a zombie, a willless slave. Mm -hmm. Is that what you wanted for Cole? Or did you sell it accidentally? Did Cole get what he deserved? <laughs> the lowest heard my prayers. So you admit it was on purpose? I admit there's a higher power maintaining order and justice in this world, and Cole got what he deserved. I'm happy that it happened, but that doesn't mean I'm to blame. Can I ask what caused such hatred? The sheriff confiscated all our weapons, and then the disappearance began. William wanted one raffle, just one to protect us. Cole was too eager to help, and as a result, my will got a bullet in his chest. How did Cole explain what took place? He just walked away as if nothing happened. Cole is the reason I lost my husband, and he should pay for it. Don't you want to know what really happened? For me, it's clear. An innocent man would tell everything. Only the guilty remain silent. Hmm. Interesting. Huh, but that's... All right, let's get back first. Uh, let's see. So this is Chinatown, Trio Quarter, Fisherman's. All right. So there's something fishy going on. Something I missed. Hmm. 
maybe there's something I'm missing. Which is entirely possible. Okay. I think we should have talked to Co we talked to Cole. Well, this is taking some time. Got some stuff I got still gotta do, you know. Let's talk to Cole and then see what happens there. Sir? I've learned about your tragedy, Cole. My condolences. Zora told you, didn't she? Can you tell me what happened and why you feel guilty? My brother died. I'm alive. And William is not. That's why. Yeah. Did you see who shot him? It was the bloody sheriff. I swear I saw him smiling. Tell me, what was the plan? William had to get into the warehouse through the eastern gate. The one not far from the market on the edge of the railroad. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. So what went wrong? William went in, then came back with a rifle. I saw him jump off the crate and then bang! He was lying there dead. What happened next? My heart stopped. I froze. Then the sheriff yelled, See if there are more rats. And I woke up. I ran away. I had just one task and I failed it. And for my mistake, the lower of death will come for me. Hmm. Oh, no two ways about it. Okay. This is definitely a mystery. But we should get to the bottom of it. Tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. An oily handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. Hmm. Bullet hole. William was shot here. I saw him jump off the crane and then bang! He was lying there dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and mass, I would say the shooter was no more than 35 or 40 feet away. This lamp did not leave William a chance to go unnoticed. Hmm. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. That's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, See if there are more rats! And I woke up. And what did Cole do? Mm-hmm. My heart stopped. I froze.
Yeah. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserved it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. Agreed. She would. Strawberry leaves, tobacco leaves, dried goldenrod, I know you are angry at Cole, but you must know that he is not guilty of your husband's death. I was at the warehouse and I saw it all myself. The sheriff shot William and Cole couldn't prevent it, not even at the cost of his life. Why did Cole survive then? And how did he return unwounded? He had no chance of stopping the sheriff, but he found himself unnoticed. All he could do was run or die. That jackal sheriff. Perhaps you're right. I didn't want to kill Cole. It's just too painful to know that he's still around while my will's dead. Yeah. You can mourn with Cole. Forgive him if you can. I'll need some time for that. Agreed. I understand. All right. I miss Will so much. Yeah. So then, I guess all we have to do is, I guess, talk to him one more time, and it's over. Okay. Wow. Long episode. <laughs> this is what we get when we got two secret missions, and this chapter was so damn short. And I think this is also the last of all the secret missions that they put in this game. Unless there's more that I don't know about. Sir? I have good news. No lowers are coming for you. You were poisoned. Wh what? Zora sold you Jimson weed instead of Jasmine. That was the cause of your hallucination. She wanted revenge. It, it doesn't change anything. But the lowers were guiding her. I deserved it. I went to the warehouse, and I know what happened. You are not guilty of William's death. You had no chance of stopping the sheriff. Your only choice was to run or die. That was my purpose as a brother. But I failed William. I'm a coward. I ruined two lives in one evening, including Zora's. I spoke with Zora, and she forgives you. Now is the time to forgive yourself. You... I... Thank you, sir. I'll try. Yep. It's going to be a hard thing to do. Trust me. I, I, I understand that pain too well. Alright. So with those cases now done. So let's uh, also come to the conclusion that we need to. Who is the jewel seller A? Okay. Black with the philanthropist is definitely something that we need. Alright, uh, let's see. Banking House of... Oh, 
opal trader, but... Uh-oh. We need to go back. I need to get back in that house, in that... Can I ask you a question? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Okay, ha owns two dogs. Okay, thank you. God, we gotta go all the way back over here now. It's hard to run when you're not looking where you're going. So, I missed something in here. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, no. with philanthropists. At least the weather is on our side. Uh, yeah. What did I not get? I got everything? It's that, that, and that, yeah. So what have I missed out on? Maybe... Or maybe I just haven't got that last piece of evidence yet. Because I'm dumb. Hut on a boat, but she owned two puppers. Hut on a boat. Well, this looks like it's on a boat. And I see a pupper. I see two puppers. Tocqueville, Lafayette. Hush now. No offense here. Them two don't take kindly to gents, especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe. Maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sure. 
I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time, you pay. Thank you. May have been... one, two weeks ago? Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. It's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you know what. Thank you for the offer and the help. Now we have something. Opal tree. There it is. That's the bit I'm missing. Most likely the jewel seller who stands behind the A is the telegram from the Aid Edelweiss Institute is E. Arneson from the French Quarter. Well, we have everything we know. Yep. Well then. Got a lead. And we have to head to the French Quarter. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bone tired, but yeah. I help you. All of you say that. Using a cap. Six thirty-eight out of six fifty. Yep. Well, now we gotta go get a cab and head to the French Quarter. I'll end this chapter and we'll start in on the next one. Made it this far in the playthrough. Uh, please put in the comments. We we'll help them and we help. Help them in Louisiana. And next time round, uh, we'll get in proper on uh, Chapter 5. This, this four, Chapter 4 is over. Uh, hey. We got everything done here. Uh, but it will go through a little bit of a cutscene and uh, then end it. But please, check out all the videos I have premiering on the channel. They premiere every day at 3 p.m. Eastern in a two-week cycle where I w work through this and uh, other games, uh, including Descent, uh, Vampire, uh, the Bioshock series currently on Bioshock, uh, the uh, Assassin's Creed series, both for the channel and for the podcast games that my mom found. Uh, by At the time of recording, I'm playing three for the podcast, and probably... By the time you see this, either record that episode of Games My Mom Found or move on to the next, or uh, we will be soon. But I'm playing the a Assassin's Creed 2 for the channel at the current time. Uh, also working through Control, uh, the Indiana Jones franchise, currently on Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, and working on the Shantae series, currently on Half Genie Hero. And a bunch of others. Also, 10 a.m. weekly, I have stuff premiering as follows. Uh, Sunday morning is the uh, is usually uh, Tomb Raider remastered. Uh, Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3 remastered. Monday morning is Alone in the Dark 2024. Tuesday's Fic Readings. Wednesday is one, either one of the first seven Final Fantasies, one of the first uh, three Final Fantasy Legends, or uh, either Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger. Uh, Friday is usually, uh, Thursday's usually Dead by Daylight, and Friday's usually a, uh, fic reading. No, no, Friday's usually fighting game, ladder story mode, and Saturday's usually a retrospective for a gamer series I've beaten the story mode on. So, now, let's talk to the man and the chapter. Got a spot in mind. French Quarter, and get us there fast. I mean, right at the end of the chapter, might as well end it. Right? Eh. 
There we go. I got the achievement, the new world. Complete chapter four. Come on, game. This was a long episode, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Okay, game. <laughs> Work with me. There we go. I'm hoping it's working with me. There we go. Oh. Arneson's Mansion. Okay, so, um, let me see here. I just said that I can approach it. Hmm. French Quarter. Okay. So. Okay. Which. Okay. Front of the gates. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. No? woman? It would be the woman. Lord, help me. Excuse me, miss. Are you alright? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother, Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's, he's pure. He ain't kind. Fear not. We will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please mm. hurry, sir. Find him for me. And that ends chapter four. And starts in chapter five. But like I said, we'll tackle that next time. The horror at the door. Until next time. Take care all and have fun. Let's, let's save this. And bye all.